Hello everyone, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. My name is Mandy and I am a mom to a two year old little boy. I'm also currently 19 weeks pregnant with a baby girl. And on my channel here, I do a lot of like motherhood and lifestyle videos, but I also do a fair amount of Montessori videos. And I've noticed that I haven't really yet sat down and explained exactly what Montessori is. So in today's video, we are going back to the basics and we are just talking about Montessori 101. Montessori method and philosophy was created by Dr. Maria Montessori at the very end of 1800s, leaning into the early 1900s. Dr. Maria Montessori was actually the very first woman in Italy to become a doctor, and I think that that's pretty amazing. During Maria Montessori's years as a physician, she was very passionate about early childhood development, and over time, she ended up developing the Montessori method. Although today, we know what it has evolved to, which is a parenting style, I would even say a lifestyle. It actually originated as an education method and it is still actually used as an education method today with over 20,000 Montessori schools all over the world. The very first Montessori school, however, was created by none other than Maria Montessori herself in 1907 and it was called the Casa de Bambini. Casa de Bambini started off as a safe haven to children who lived in the slums of Rome who did not have adequate childcare due to their parents working or them just being impoverished and so they went to Casa de Bambini. This was the perfect opportunity for Maria Montessori to test her theories, her methods, the materials that she developed and over time it was very clear that the children who attended the Casa de Bambini were actually testing a lot higher than the children who were attending a traditional school. Not only were these children excelling academically, but they were also showing to be very independent, capable, and confident. So what is it that Dr. Maria Montessori developed that made those children so much different than the ones who were in a traditional education? The Montessori method is a child-centered approach to learning and development where the child is encouraged to take the lead while the parent or the educator is encouraged to take a step back and work more as a guide. The adult's role is to prepare the environment, demonstrate skills for the child and provide guidance, as well as encouraging them and most importantly, observing them. When the adult is observing the child, they are seeing where they are thriving, as well as where they are struggling so that they can take mental notes and better prepare the environment and better demonstrate skills to really help optimize the child's learning. This is why in a Montessori environment, you will see all child size furniture and tools so that the child is capable of using every piece of that room and doing it independently. The child is not relying on the adult to help them into a high chair or to get something off of the shelf for them. Everything is made available to them so that they can feel independent and choose their own work. In Montessori, play is considered the work of a child. And so through playing and exploring the environment, the child is working through things, developing skills, and learning constantly. Children are encouraged to make decisions for themselves explore the environment in a very hands-on way. They're encouraged to learn real life skills and ultimately become independent and confident. There are many things that makes Montessori education very different from traditional education, but some of the most important things are that Montessori believes in drawing forth knowledge from children through nurturing their interests versus filling them with knowledge and just expecting them to learn. This is something very standard that we see here in the United States. The teacher is at the front of the class and all the children are sitting down with handouts doing the same exact work and listening to what the teacher has to say as she's pointing to a board. A Montessori environment looks entirely different. Children are free to roam the class, decide what work they want to do, and the adult or the educator is there to simply guide the children, work with them one-on-one, -on -one, demonstrate activities to them, and a lot of it is hands-on with materials and toys and nature versus just a pen and a paper. Another huge component of Montessori is respect 
for the child. There is definitely a level of respect in Montessori when it comes to allowing the child to make their own decisions as far as the work that they want to complete, as well as allowing them the freedom of movement to do what they please. But it's also about the way that the adult interacts with the child and speaks to the child. And if you are at all familiar with positive discipline, parenting or just discipline method in general then you should know that that is essentially what is used in Montessori where there is no punitive punishment but rather guidance and the mistakes are used as an opportunity to learn. Montessori is all about taking everything in your environment and using that to learn including things pertaining to behavior and discipline. Maria Montessori also believed that education starts at birth Yes, a newborn is learning more at that moment than at any other time in their life. And while it is heavily focused on the early childhood years, Montessori can go all the way up until the high school years as well. If you are interested in Montessori and you want to dive in deeper and learn even more, I know that I did when I first heard about it, I'm going to leave a bunch of resources as well as my playlist down in the description box. If you enjoyed this video, you are going to love the world of Montessori. I encourage you to look into it a little deeper. Even if you don't fully, fully adapt to all of the method, maybe you can find something that you can use with your children to help them today. With all that being said, thank you so much for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and found it helpful. Consider subscribing to my channel if you want to see more content like this. And I will catch you on the next one.